This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. As I've been driving around Kansas for the last couple of weeks, snow on the mountain is in bloom. And I think that may be my favorite Kansas wildflower because it just transforms the pastures and the fields. So there's so many wildflowers that you can enjoy, so many trails you can do those on. Let's get outdoors Kansas and see where we can find some of the beauty of early fall. The prairies may be as spectacular in the early fall as they are in the spring. With the rains we have had this year, the grasses are thick and lush. The wildflowers, bountiful. Take a drive on any back road and the reward will be one photo op after another with the grandeur of the Kansas sky as a backdrop. GetOutdoorsKansas.org has trails all around Kansas if you are looking for a place to take the family or get some quality alone time with nature. As you are hiking those trails or traveling those back roads, wouldn't it be nice to know exactly what you are seeing? At first glance, the pastures and fields are merely grass with dots of color, but look more closely. The variety of plants is simply staggering. Professor Michael Haddock at K-State has put together an informative and beautiful website, Kansas Wildflowers and Grasses. This site is so well organized and so user-friendly that no matter how ignorant you are of botany, you will be able to identify the plants in your world. What a wonderful way to share nature with the kids and teach them to observe the world more closely. Mike's website contains 7,375 spectacular identification photos, most taken by Mike himself, for some 934 species of forbs, grasses, sedges, rushes, trees, and other woody plants found growing in Kansas. He has also authored books on the subject, and you'll find those listed on the website as well. The list itself is pure poetry. Among the grasses are arrow feather, blue stem, Indian grass, nimble will, green and yellow foxtail, long spike, witch grass, red love grass, windmill grass, velvet dicanthalium. Hope I said that correctly. The wildflowers include brown eyed Susan, flannel mullen, sorrel, aster, Indian strawberry, snakeweed, sneezeweed, Indian rush pea, Indian mustard, Jerusalem artichoke, primrose, crown beard, hawkweed, downy goldenrod, ground cherry, broomweed, buffalo bird, dandelions, hyssops, foxglove, coreopsis, bellflower, bachelor buttons, bull thistle, and butterfly pea. The colorful monikers go on and on, each a unique shade and hue, bringing the prairie to life. Visit Mike's website, then get outdoors and explore around Kansas. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. <laughs> 